Wow. I love the finish of the cabinets. Good job, yeah. Brandon. Wagon, so. This is gonna be a fun one. Oh yeah, brain is like. <laughs> you jealous, buddy? <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say I'm hella jealous right now. <laughs> it looks sick. Yeah. Or at least since yeah. I've worked here, we haven't had a place like that. I'm Brandon. I'm a builder. I've been doing it for about six, seven months now. The thing I enjoy most about working here, it's definitely the people, the atmosphere. Uh, everyone's always having a great time. Hi, I'm Christy. Hi, I'm Jaden. Uh, we're both cousins. We work for Scenic Vans. Uh, we're on Brandon's team. This van that's coming up is going to be super cool. A lot of things that we get to do. We're going to make sure that it comes out great for the customer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is day one. Uh, on a new build. We got a Shasta model going in. We're doing a demo today. Yeah, so this floor plan includes a bench with toilet and storage with an attached swivel table. It has a 40 inch galley with a propane stove, a fridge and a sink. And then in the back we have our slide out tray in the garage space under our queen size platform bed. Uh, we're gonna take out these L tables. Like this, like this whole platform is actually made of aluminum. It just, it will take up too much space if we do this and then like our normal flooring. So this van had a factory AC that you typically see in passenger vehicles. Uh, and they also decided to add a max air fan. This is Bugatti. This, so this is a propane water heater. It's like if you don't want to beef up your electrical system like crazy, then the propane is a really good option. It kind of just, it, it just depends like what the person wants basically. The factory AC comes with different challenges. We have to make a lot more cuts to our roof and adjust it accordingly because it's such a big product. We have short little roof pieces. Uh, and then that also requires doing trim in a different way than we typically would. It's a very like rounded and awkward shape. And so, you know, to make it look good, you want it to be one piece and make it look seamless. And, you know, it just requires a lot of craftsmanship when it comes to that trim. The trim details are yeah, this like this trim piece was very difficult to do. <laughs> yeah, that was an awkward one. <laughs> and I get a great before and after. It's gonna look so different. Man. So my favorite part of the van building process personally is the electrical. Um, you know, I've been doing it for a while, so. And then when you add a roof rack or a ladder, you know, it looks nice and it's super easy to put up. It's a little nice add-on you could add to your van. This van specifically doesn't have a roof rack, but it does have a ladder. We got our wheel well boxes painted. We're going to be able to start on the electrical now and start on the plumbing. Uh, and then we have Jaden over here working on our S bar heater. It's for uh, most of these are diesel, and this one's gasoline, so it's a little different. Yeah, so this van gets capsules. Uh, we typically put those on the 144 because it gives you enough space to sit side to side in the van, as opposed from back to front uh, lengthwise. It just gives you more space, allows for a bigger bed in a smaller van. So when we're at this stage, we like to tape it up so that it keeps that upward force. Um, we also put these in here to make sure that it stays at a level consistent gap here. So today we're getting our galley set up. We got our fridge in, our propane in for the stove and the water heater. Our line's coming in to power that. We got the, our line ramp for the sink that's gonna be here. 
uh, for the drain. And we'll have our stove sitting here. The countertop will be in shortly. Uh, I'm just trying to make sure that this sink is square so that when I put it in there, it's not a lopsided. So you're not standing like this trying to wash the dishes and it should be straight. So today we are having Jane finish up the electrical. We cut out our final window size and we have Dave working on the window frames. We mounted the brackets for our bed rails, got the bed rails up where we run some of the piping lines and the propane line across the van. Um, we are adding a door to this side for more accessibility for the electrical. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. That about sums it up for the day. Um, I'm making basically like a like a step up for a bed frame to make it flush with the window. touches just install the lid on the bench you know we're gonna have the toilet in here cubby space and then we got the plumbing on the side so this is the swivel uh, we put this in so that basically you have like this table when you sit down in the passenger seat this also swivels around um, so you can eat your dinner here while you just got done using your fancy little stove um, and then you can also put it away and it's no longer in your way. You have your whole access and everything like that. So it's just a cool little thing that we add to the van. So this right here, we actually 3D printed it. Um, we called it the paddy wagon when it was being made. So we went ahead and put that label on it. The customer thought it was actually really cool. You see this? I love the finish of the cabinets. Good job, yeah. Brandon. Yeah, well, that's all Spencer on that guy. And so the stainless steel the finish, the yeah. matte black, yeah. the hardware matches the When you do the. There's yeah. a lot of warmth. The trim details are. Yeah, this like this trim piece was very difficult to do. <laughs> so the... Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah, right, man. Holy shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Excuse my French. Yeah. Do you like it? The finish is unreal. Yeah. 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 So then, wow, this is really strong. You know, it's it's, a, it's rated for 500 pounds. Honestly, honestly, that's so cool. Very nice. Well, it lies, it lies good. Yep, and then this locks in place. <laughs> Did I get you? No, well, you're going that He's way. about to. That's what I think. Good job, let me see. Yeah. You think I can fit there? Try it right now. Typically, you sleep this way. It doesn't really matter, but. You're gonna get used to sleeping pretty close. There's plenty of room there. Yeah. It's a nice little yeah. shoe compartment. Yeah, it is. Sure, it's great. Yeah. You have dogs, it's a good place to put leashes. So, so you're gonna say, put the dog? <laughs> <laughs> Play cards, meat. Get that. <laughs> <laughs>